What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jay, and you are tripping with Jay. And today's reaction video is going to be on one of my favorite countries in Africa. We're back in Africa, y'all. We are exploring Ethiopia. Shout out to all of my hobby shop people. So we are uh, our first creator of the day is going to be Shoshana Rose. So I'm going to leave um, her details in the comment box below and tag her in this video. So go ahead and support her channel and subscribe and like her videos. So let's go ahead and put that plate or press that play button and see uh, and look at all of the food, the culture of uh, Ethiopia in particular. I think she's in Addis Ababa. So we are going to react to her video. Let's go. <laughs> That's my aunt. I literally didn't even recognize her. Can we get a beer? <laughs> Unlimited beer here. Let's take a low. Thank you. My grandma's trying to force feed us all in Jara. <laughs> like, we're good. Grandma, we're full. <laughs> you guys even see how orange these eggs are? These are a little bit cooked, Look at, you know? Yeah, but like... They're really good. How orange they are compared to Canada. I'm waiting on my gorshas. So... Forever. Sorry. So the the bread that you guys kind of saw, like this, like bread that uh, is on the bottom of the plate, is it's called injera, and it is like a like a bread where they they scoop it up, they scoop all the food up in uh, in the injera, and they eat it with their hands. So uh, Ethiopians, when they eat their traditional food, it's with their hands. They don't use like a knife and fork like uh, people over here in America do. I actually prefer eating like this because I've there are a lot of Ethiopian restaurants here in Vegas because we have quite a large population of Ethiopians so shout out to all my Habesha people and I prefer this way of eating because you get a chance to share a lot of your food with other people and then their food is actually made to share with you with one another so it's pretty cool Let's uh let's continue. Yeah. How orange they are compared to Canada. I'm waiting on my gorsha. It's taking okay. forever. Sorry. I'm making nice, you know. Jesus. This is a nice. Jesus. That's huge. <laughs> you want to show them what they got? I tell you that this one's light. It's, they're not lying. This one you can eat all day. Eat all day, you yeah. You don't, you don't, don't really get like, It doesn't feel heavy. The one back home is fake. <laughs> Thank you. Why do they do like that? Like, are they just trying to finesse? Conjo! Yeah. <laughs> we are about to go to the store to get some Popotin. It's a gum brand, and we, me and my sis, used to be like obsessed with it when we were kids. We're about to go hit up the little, um, a little store and get some Popotin gum. And I used to always get a strawberry like flavored cookie too and I'm gonna just see if they still have it but I literally used to steal money from my mom and then come and get my my fucking strawberry cookies Popotin? Okay, can I get one Popotin uh, strawberry cookies? No? Do you have cookies? Any cookie? How do you say how much? Popotin! Popotin Interesting, okay Well, I'm gonna see if I can skip along more bit into the video. Uh, I wanted to skip a little bit uh, more into the video because I want I wanted you I want you guys to see uh, what it is like in Ethiopia in a, in a country that's different than your own. Uh, it looks it looks like a regular city to me. So uh, I guess we are going to hit the play button again. In and out burger. Oh, wow. Wait. wait. <laughs> No, that's not the real In-N-Out. No, that's not it. That's not the real In-N-Out. In-N-Out burger, of course. But uh, that's pretty funny, though. There's so much traffic. There's no, <laughs> like, okay. traffic lights. So it's really just a free-for-all here. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of no, crazy here. Go crazy! Ah, 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 go stupid! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I'm just taking that low. Ooh. It literally reminds me of Serrano Bakery. Like All my Abishas in Toronto, y'all know about Serrano's Bakery. <laughs> yeah, we don't, they don't really have toilet paper around here. Use that to wash yourself. There's no toilet paper. No toilet paper, yeah. Yeah, you have to use the spray thing. Okay. <laughs> you know what this is? I'm gonna wipe my ass immediately. <laughs> we went days without toilet paper. Morning, y'all. 
so today is day three in Ethiopia. Yo, I love her energy. I really do love her energy. Like Gemini's and uh, I gotta live. There are too many of these guys at my crib. My dad literally collects them. <laughs> Men got the bird. Yeah, baby, you know we're balling out here. You know how to play that? He wants so much attention, this guy. Can we order one order of crepe? And, and this My big, mom big told me to get change. another one. Yeah. You want another one? What, what did you tell the man? Let's crepe. Let's crepe, please. I could have said Indigena. Uh, Indigena uh, crepe. Yeah, yeah. All right, I want, I want to see some more food. I want to see some more food here. <laughs> ah, it's pizza. Okay. Let's see if we got some more food here. Eva. Oh my God. Wait, what is okay. this? Is this oatmeal? Is this oatmeal? Yeah, what is that? Oh, I'm so uncultured. I sprinkled some berbera on here. Look at the berbera here. It comes in a little, little salt shaker because <laughs> we use it that often. How was the kinche? It was well. I definitely need it with that berbera though. A little bit of salt. Delish. It's like a grain. They boil it. It's like oatmeal. Oh, really? I forget what it's called in English. Y'all see all this money? Burr. This right here. <laughs> All right, y'all, like the, um, that's going to be it from her video. I mainly wanted to kind of focus on the food of Ethiopia. And did, she did show uh, quite a bit of it, which is why I wanted to feature her video in this reaction. Uh, so let's move on to the next creator, um, Tayo Aina. He did a full video on Addis Ababa, and we are going to react to it here. Man, I love Tayo's video so much. They're so cinematic. A uh, very it reminds me of Passport Heavy's like production value. So let's uh, go ahead and react to Tayo Aina's video. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to his channel. Support him. Support the man. He's at a half a million subscribers. Let's give him a lot more. And I'm definitely gonna like this video as well. Let's go. Never really bought out to explore this country. So I reached out to my friend Roby, who you're gonna see in this video, and she was like, "Let's explore Ethiopia." After landing and the whole airport arrest incident, and then we finally get into Addis, staying in the hotel. I started doing some research, and I realized that Addis does not really have a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know that moment where you save up money and you're trying to buy some really nice new shiny stuff, and then you buy it finished, and then you head home. And they see that that stuff is broken. <laughs> That's how I felt when we got to Addis and there was nothing to do. But my friend, Ruby, she did some research and she found a town called Gonda Town. I've never even heard of that town before I got here. And she was like, okay, let's check out this town. The only problem was that this town was 12 hours away from Addis by road. And this is my bum bum here. I didn't want to sit down for 12 hours inside anything. And it was one hour by air. So I was like, why are we traveling so far? It's like, we just got here. Why are we entering another place to another place? We've not even been around at this. For me, we had seen some of the few things that were there, but there was not really like a whole lot. I was like, man, f it. let's go. We didn't come all this way to just sit down in a hotel in Addis. So the next day, booked the tickets, boarded the plane. Landed in Gonda town. And this is where the adventure began we had in mind upon landing but first hotel hello hello so that we don't end up beautiful views i have ever seen let me take you guys on the tour of this place i'm currently in ethiopia now and i want to show you where i'm currently staying is a place called gonda hills resort and it's probably the most beautiful resort in gonda town oh yo what what see i haven't i haven't really I haven't even heard of Gondar before. It's all been about Addis Ababa, right? So, actually, some like another YouTuber visiting another city in Ethiopia. I mean, it just doesn't happen. And I guess this guy's doing it. So that's a Tayo man. He's he's a, a going out and exploring uh, different cities, different parts of Ethiopia that really aren't on YouTube. 
So yeah, shout out to him, man. Seriously. Oh. So they have this designer of their rooms where all the rooms have a view of the sunset and all the rooms are circled round the hill. It's a pretty, pretty beautiful resort. It's an amazing resort. Just counting money. How much are you counting money? Money, money, money. Money! Oh man, this place is amazing. We had no idea what we were expecting because we booked the, the hotel at the airport. Yeah, like I booked, booked the hotel. No, you did not. I booked the hotel. Okay. I booked the flights, I booked uh, everything to come yeah, here. We know, we know, we know. Okay. <laughs> you know. So, when we got here, we're climbing up the hill and it just looks so like, what? Amazing. Like the views alone, the earthly, everything, all the greenery and nature and stuff. Another thing, have you noticed how she's breathing? She's on feet, first of all. But have you noticed how she's breathing? Look at you. Have you noticed how she's breathing? Look at you. How old are they looking at? So, we are currently in room three and Hold four. On. The rooms are somehow. <laughs> room 304 yo he he throws in jokes everywhere like this tile's really funny in his videos like they're underground Ooh. guys check out this room check out this room see how oh. big and massive it is whoa 65 bucks a night oh that's not bad at all man what <laughs> welcome check it out check out the video. hello <laughs> I think this is one of the best things about having a hotel on a hilltop. You get this amazing view every time. We saw the sunrise today and we're also going to see the sunset. And they have multiple rooms on this side. I think currently they have over 72 rooms. What do you think about this place, Rory? Tell me. Tell me what you think. Tell me. I think I'm going to be here for like a week. We had so many plans, but mm -hmm. then now we got here and it's like so dope. So I don't think we're going. So now we're going to skip that. I'm just going to stay here and chill and enjoy this. So you say you want to go to La Libella before? We're still going. But you want to enjoy this place first? Yes. We're going okay. to enjoy here for however long it takes for them to kick us out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, we headed out to the castles of the Fasiladas Palace we had seen on the map to take some lessons in history. We'll be going to see the, the royal enclosure, which is a castle compound. You'll be visiting more than six castles. Oh. And definitely, like, uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Ethiopia is one of the few countries, if not the only country in Africa, that was not colonized by the Europeans. They fought them off and they won crazy and this is the history of their country and you guys can see it right here and guys check out this castle behind me this castle is one of the historical castles here these are some of the historical parts of ethiopia and also these are some of the things you can actually come and check out if you're coming to ethiopia so guys we're walking into the castle now so this is Philemon, he's our guide, he's the one taking us around, say oh. hi to. Yeah. So Gondor was technically the third capital city of Ethiopia, once between 17th and 19th century. This is the highest part, 2300 meters above sea level, but we have mountains range of 4543. You know, in all of Africa, more than 3000, 4000 meters of mountains, 70% are found in Ethiopia. Really? Indeed. So how many years did you say this castle is behind us? Nearly 400 years old. It's only these tiny stones. It took us about 14 years to finish. Wow. Yes. wow. And so the longer this palace stay, the stronger it gets. Guys, so check this out. Back then in the days, they used to keep lions inside this gate. All the kings used to have lions, live lions, Abyssinia lions. <laughs> We also visited the Debra Brihan Selassie and we were just in time as they had just finished the procession. So this place is more like a church where people go to worship and the way they practice their own religion is very different from what I had seen anywhere else. But it was so interesting to learn about it. Hey guys, I'm currently at a church now in Gondor town. And it's one of their major historical churches here. They just finished the service and on this side is the main church itself where the priest just came out from now. This is a, 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 a temple from the 17th century and it's built with the, with the shape of the Ark of Noah to host the original Ark of Moses. Ethiopia is a Christian country, indigenously Christian. What? Wait, that was, that was a lot of biblical history right there in, in like five seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. 
second century and it's built with the with the shape of the Ark of Noah to host the original Ark of Moses. Ethiopia is a Christian country indigenously, Christian from the most ancient time, not Christianized by modern missionaries. Now we have 40,000 churches and monasteries in Ethiopia with the copy of the Ark of the Covenant of Moses. So the way they show respect is by kissing the feet, something like that? Okay. We just uh, go to show respect okay. to the knees okay. and he pulled us up and then he give, we, he offered us the cross so we kissed the cross. It's really interesting, I've been in Ethiopia so far. This place has so much history and actually so much to learn. So it's really cool to travel across Africa and also, you know, explore and get new ideas and learn about new cultures and different ways of life about different people. Guys, I'm inside the temple now. When you're praying behind me, you can't speak too loud. This is where most of the prayers happen. This is where the priest stays. Beautiful. One of the other things that happened as we went was that our guide, whose name is Groom, and who you should contact, I'm going to link his details in the description below, he was one that helped us, hooked us up with everything, took us around. He told us about a place called Simeon's Mountains. And boy, this place is, this place is another thing on its own. The name of this place is called Buitras. We are very close to the highest lodge in Africa. And this is the most popular place for the gelada baboons where they come out to graze oh, okay. every single day. Around me, I have lots and lots of baboons. You can see a lot of them on this side. Many of them were close to us before, but they just ran away now. So we are at 10,700 feet. It's so hard to breathe currently. But... <laughs> That's a lot of damn baboons. <laughs> she gave me a bed. I, I try to tell y'all, man, Africa is the place to visit, whether it's Ethiopia, Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. There's enough stuff in Africa that you could literally spend your entire life exploring. You can look and go into Dubai and all that other stuff, but the real, real adventure is in Africa. This is a swing, right? <laughs> nice. I'm definitely coming back here. Guys, so I'm heading to one of the rooms now so I can show you what it looks like inside it. Um, I'm going to cut the video there. I want you guys to finish out the rest of this video uh, on Tile's channel. And uh, hopefully that you get a chance to kind of explore Ethiopia in person. But man, you guys can see that Ethiopia is really unexplored let alone videos being put on YouTube and created for it. So the more videos that we create kind of showcasing Africa as a whole, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Ghana, you know, the, the big countries in Africa, the more videos that we put out, the more videos we, we react to, it's going to eventually reach a point where everybody is going to be aware. So let's keep creating videos about uh, the continent as a whole, and the countries within it as well. So uh, if you guys like this video, this reaction video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video as well, and please go support um, our fellow creators, Tayo Aina and Shoshana Rose. So go subscribe to those two and like their videos as well. Let's support each other. Let's get the awareness out of how great Africa is. Thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. My name is Jay. You are tripping with Jay. And I just took y'all on a trip to Ethiopia. Thank y'all for making it to the end of the video. Peace.